What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be looking at Rifled Barrel as well as Particle Amp in Infinite Warfare. Now just to simplify things, we've always known this as Long Barrel in Call of Duty, and therefore I'm just going to be calling both of these things Long Barrel throughout this video. They both behave exactly the same, they only have different names because one of them's for energy weapons and the other one's for ballistic weapons. So for the purpose of this video, when I say Long Barrel, I'm talking either Particle Amp or Rifled Barrel. Also, later in the video, a lot of people have been asking me, what happens when you stack long barrel and suppressor? So we're going to be looking at that today. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so once again, these are all hand-tested values, but we have started to get a few of the hard-coded stats, so I'm able to show you exactly what these ranges mean. Although, we still have no hard stats on the attachments, so these are going to be hand-tested values. And therefore, there is a little bit of a margin of error once we get the hard stats. But as soon as we get access to those, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Also, one thing I wanted to point out, for those of you guys that saw the suppressors on Assault Rifles video, I did find a small error that I made with the R3K's base 3-shot kill range, or base 1-burst kill range. Basically, what I didn't realize is there is a neck multiplier for the R3K of 1.15, and that actually extends your 3-shot kill potential quite a bit if you land one bullet within that neck multiplier. And I didn't realize during testing that this multiplier existed, and I didn't realize I hit it, and therefore the one burst kill range that I showed in the suppressor video was actually pretty significantly longer than the actual one burst kill potential if you're not hitting them in the neck or the head. So it is accurate now in this video. Alright guys, so let's start off with the NV4. We now know that the base 4 shot kill range of the NV4 is exactly 30 meters, and you can see it very clearly displayed here. Once you put Long Barrel on the NV4, it increases its range by 20%, which takes it up to 36 meters for your 4-shot kill potential. Moving on to the R3K, here is the actual 1-burst kill potential, assuming you don't hit them in the neck or head. As you can see, it's not very long at all. It's only 15 meters base, which is pretty terrible. And if you throw a Long Barrel on, once again, looks like we got a 20% increase to our range. And this actually holds true for all of the Assault Rifles, just so I don't have to repeat myself over and over again but I'll go through and show you what it actually looks like on the map. Next up, we've got the K-Bar, and if you guys remember correctly, we've got three range values. We've got the four shot, five shot, and six shot kill ranges, and all of these ranges are increased by 20%. Moving on to the Type 2, this is the reason I had to actually zoom out this map compared to the last one, because the Type 2's range is ridiculously long. It's going to be hard to find a range that's longer than its base five shot kill range, so therefore, I feel like Long Barrel isn't really necessary because that 20% increase is going to be within a range that you normally aren't in anyways. Moving on to the Volk, we already knew the Volk has an excellent 3-shot kill potential, but now we know that that value is exactly 28 meters, which is amazing. And with Long Barrel, that increases to just under 34 meters, which is that much better. So there we have it. Those are the effects of the long barrel on the assault rifles. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward in this game. There's nothing too crazy, no surprises here. All of your damage ranges are increased by 20% on all of the assault rifles with long barrel. Now it's time to answer the question that I've been getting asked a ton. And that is, what happens when you combine long barrel and suppressor with assault rifles? Does long barrel cancel out the negative effects of suppressor? Or is one of them noticeably more powerful than the other? This just takes a little bit of simple math to figure out, and I did hand test everything here just to make sure that this was still accurate. And if we get a 20% increase to our range with Long Barrel, and then a 25% decrease to our range with Suppressor, that gives us 90% damage range, which means we get a 10% reduction to our base range. So Long Barrel doesn't completely cancel out Suppressor, but it almost does. You're still going to be getting a little bit less range than you would get if you didn't have either of those attachments on. But, if you do want to run something suppressed and you want to counteract that a little bit, and you don't have any other attachments you want to put on, it's not a terrible choice to do that. Just realize you're still losing a little bit of range compared to the base damage range. So, there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for Long Barrel as well as Suppressor on Assault Rifles in Infinite Warfare. Next up, I'm going to be covering the SMGs, but they take a lot longer to test because most of the SMGs have 2 to 3 damage ranges, which means two to three times the amount of work when I'm hand testing everything here. So they will come hopefully somewhat soon, but at the same time, I hope you guys can bear with me here. It's a lot of hand testing. I'm doing all this hand testing myself, and it is very tedious and time consuming. I'd like to know in the comment section below, which is your favorite assault rifle to use with a long barrel in Infinite Warfare? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. 
I'll talk to you guys next time.